Greetings, all praising King King C La C, Ja Rastafari. Yes, I people are not pagan worshippers. The Babylon attempts to mix High Hebrew faith with pagan practices. The pagan is the most followed religion on the face of the earth. There were more pagans um, in the days of old. The scripture tells us um, certainly the Hebrew people were smaller in number, although promised to be as of, of the sand. Um, yet they were a subsect within of bondsmen and bondswomen within um, Egypt, having escaped the persecution thereof by the hands of Moses, our fearless leader. When you know, stories are introduced about the influence of Hindu over Rastafari, yes, you know, just as you invite a stranger in your house, there's a friendship, and yet it does not mean you forsake your God to take on worshiping gods of the pagans. So if there is an influence, it is because his Majesty declared to respect all and so even those um, that worship Satan. Um, Lij Yasu was cast into the dungeon in the golden chains and yet he was given to indulge. That's the faith he chose. All I and I can do now is declare the glory of His Majesty, the graceful tidings that He brings. And those that have ears, let them hear. And now, our Hebrew faith as followers of Christ, yes, us, is sometimes confused with that of the institutional congregations that have seemed to turn people away. The, the New Agers, this new generation, the new religions, have sprouted up underneath an umbrella of universalism. They claim to have respect for all faiths. They undoubtedly partake in worshiping of idols, including themselves. And they believe what they see on the internet. The, the thing with the internet, it's had such a phenomenal impact on the up-and-coming generations that are forced through, you know, state institutions, academia, to engage in these idols and learn their knowledge from these sources of idolatry. And so it should come to no surprise that the Christ has been blasphemed in the process. And this being foretold 
that we should have not expected differently. These forums claim to possess all powerful wisdom and train the youth to believe that I way is man way and that man way is supreme and that there are no laws this is a judgmental movement unrighteous so that if you are a follower of the original law then you become the adversary the devil in flesh to these people Just as the older generations, they cannot be blamed. They are victim. There is a more powerful force of interconnected oppressors providing these truths. And just as the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil enticed Eve, they are enticed. And it should not be something very, um, that we have to be curious about. This is what selling candy to a baby. And as a result, I and I are marked for persecution because we choose to not follow pagan ways that somehow we are not open stubborn and generally wrong this is the belief and so as a culture people are resistant to I and I and even to the point where they make efforts to create burdens for I and I. And sometimes this is done casually so that people, you know, see the I and I and just give them a nasty look or discriminate um, by not providing <clears throat> adequate services. It becomes more difficult for I and I to survive. And this is all done culturally through a systematic network of oppression using images, idols to conform populations and the New Age group is a victim.
the the Bible is not for everyone in the sense that there are those that have chosen to not worship and serve the master of all and so how could the word be of importance and there will always be questions that help to enforce a critique of the ancient scriptures and yet could one critique I creation could one say that everything is not perfect that the earth does not replenish itself and work in unison so long as man does not interfere could one know the meaning to the depths of the heavens could one know the way that life takes root by waters and the movement of animals could one see the birth of the child through the mother's womb this man has only begun to realize his existence that man has only been on earth for a short while in eyes of I weigh and has managed to upset the master This has been done in a sliver of a second, and yet the man presses forward. The man really seems to have no clue about what is happening and key word seems because the man knows damn well what he's done and so he has to formulate a culture of people that he says are united united underneath man's banner, man's law, what I people refer to as the beast. Because if not, what hope is there for the man? So the man is attempting 
to use all people as a weapon against God, Selassie. And this pagan New Age universalism is a training ground for these soldiers of Satan. <laughs>